Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be looking at a weapon which is almost like the secret weapon of Verdun. Not many people know about it, and especially now more so. There's sort of there's more new players on the game than there ever has been, or at least since uh, the the first year of the game. Now today I'm looking at the Canadian Ross rifle, which was uh, taken out of service in I think it was around 1915 or 16 because it wasn't very effective in the trenches. Apparently the bolt uh, used to get stuck. Uh, but it was known for its excellent marksmanship uh, in terms of uh, its iron sights and its, its hit ratio. But apparently, just again, it just wasn't very effective in the trenches with the mud and stuff. So, um, yeah, yeah, which is why I think it's such a rare gun in the game and why the Lee Enfield is sort of uh, the, the primary weapon over, over the Ross rifle for the Canadians. Now, there's only one class in the entire game that I'm aware of. Uh, I don't think any of the Anzacs have it so I think it's just the Canadians which have this this gun and it's, it's only one class which is the specialist class within the Canadians that have the Ross rifle and the gun is it's probably my favourite rifle in the game and there's a lot of people who, who would agree with me and I know before I've said that the Lee Enfield's my favourite but when I really think about this gun it's absolutely amazing and I'm going to explain why. So the first thing which makes this gun absolutely fantastic for me personally is the iron sights. Now the iron sights on, on Verdun and, and indeed Tannenberg are really difficult on a lot of guns and it's one of the questions I get all the time from new players is like, you know, what, what gun should I use first? You know, how do I use the iron sights? Because certain weapons, iron sights are horrendous. I think it's the GEW where it has two big thick iron sight, like iron uh, markers on either side of the main sight, which is really difficult to use. And I know the Lee Enfield, even though I like the Lee Enfield because I think it gives you a good clear overview of the weapon, um, it's, it's got a very small marker. With the Ross rifle, you get a you get a really unique. There's no there's no iron sight like it in the game at all. It's it, you get a circle marker a bit like the I think there's a the, the American uh, rifle on the game. I've completely forgot what it's called, and um, it's it's similar to that but smaller and more clearer, and um, and it makes it great for for long and short ranges, which is a is, is a major thing. And again, in comparison to most most rifles on the game, including the Car 98, this this gun's iron sights beat all. You can actually use this rifle in a sniper role if you want to, uh, and and if you want to just you know camp at the back of the map and take people out, you can do that. It just depends on how your eyesight is, but that's how that's how accurate these iron sights are. Um, secondly, it's got a bayonet on it, and um, the bayonet, you know, for me personally, is a must-have, especially if you're doing like your, your close quarter combat type stuff in the trenches. I think you need it, and um, usually with this specialist role, you tend to be the Canadians tend to be quite an aggressive um, faction. I think I think it, it, they've got the flanker role, which is the the swan off. Um, rifle and stuff and they've got grenades and things so I think they tend to be guys who get in the nitty gritty stuff so I think you need a bayonet on your weapon and um, so yeah it makes it great for close range and short range and then finally you've got the quick reload now this gun reloads just as quick as a, as a Lee Enfield which makes it uh, really good and the only I suppose the only downside to this rifle is it's only got five rounds on it and uh, the Lee Enfield obviously has the ten rounds which which is why it's always been sort of the Lee Enfield was always my favourite weapon until I started using this again recently. So that's, I think that's the only way this gun could be improved is if, if it had like a like a 10 round capacity. But the thing is, with the 5 round capacity anyway, it doesn't matter because it reloads so quick that it, you, you know you don't you don't tend to, to miss out any uh, in any of the action. And again, you've always got your bayonet to fall back on should you run out of ammo. I just wanted to bring up a point as well about sort of overpowered weapons and, and how people play with them. Now. In Verdun, especially when people want to sort of go on a bit of a rampage or uh, or like you know want to use overpowered weapons, people usually go for the MP18 or the BR and and the trench gun and and, and more sort of you know unique, more modern weapons over the over the the, uh, the standard rifle. But personally, for me, and I've said this before in, in live streams and things that. The, any rifle on this game, more so the Lee Enfield and, and the Ross and the Car 98, and um, I think there's a modern version of the GW. The, if you use rifles correctly in an accurate manner and you can use them efficiently, they are better than any machine gun you can get on this game. Machine guns tend to be for people who can't use rifles, I always think, because if you can use a rifle, in this game here, what you can see, I got 100 kills with the Ross um, by the end of it because I can, I used it effectively. It's more effective than a BER. So just, it's all, all it is, guys, is a matter of practice and, and getting used to using the weapon. Um, but I just thought I'd bring that up. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the Ross if you've used it. And if you can't use this gun in online because people won't play as the Canadians, 
try looking at um, playing offline and using the uh, squad defence mode or the, uh, playing against the bots because it's a really fun gun to use. Uh, as usual, thanks for watching and I'll reply to any comments uh, and or if you need help. Cheers.